Hey guys, my name is Jesse. Welcome to my channel, Yu-Gi-Oh! Commander, where I make most of my content on the domain format. If you don't know what domain format is, real quick, it's a way to play multiplayer games with a 60 card singleton deck and you pick a deck master. The deck master then determines which type, attribute, and archetypes you can play in your deck. If that sounds interesting or if you have any questions, I have a video that goes in depth on how to play. You can also find an invite to the domain format discord in my link tree below. All right, now with that out of the way, everybody up to speed, I wanted to talk to you guys about the set Photon Hypernova. It is coming out in about a month. I want to talk about these spoilers though from the perspective of domain format. And I want to show you guys the new archetype support that I'm excited about and the new singles that I think are really strong that I think we'll see a lot of play. So originally I had five singles to talk about but I cut it down to four and I wanted to talk about three other archetypes that I think are getting really good support so to start off I wanted to go over the generic insect support all of this started when I know when I read tree crown armor perer bgram <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Has a summoning condition, which is good, which means this guy could be a deck master, and he would be a really good deck master in my opinion because he has access to earth, insect, and plant monsters. Banishing three is kind of rough, but you can banish them from hand or graveyard. He has an interesting effect where he protects the activation. Your, your opponent can't respond with monster effects to the activation of your spell trap cards. But the coolest part is he says, once per turn, destroy all face-up monsters except plant and insect monsters. That's pretty good. If you sit down for a game of domain, you're most likely not gonna be playing against plants and insects. <laughs> so having a one-sided board wipe to clear the way seems really good, either with him as the deck master or even just in like a B trooper deck. His spell trap activation is pr uh, protection is pretty interesting because this guy could lead the helm for possibly a trap trick deck. All the trap tricks are earth, so you have access to the, I mean, they're all plants or insects, so you have access to all of them. The other insect boss monster I want to talk about was Perfect Great Insect. It's probably really hard to fusion summon this guy with a level eight insect and a level seven in insect, but being able to special summon him by tributing an insect that's equipped by an, an equip card, super easy to do, I imagine, especially considering the other cards in this set. Not being able to destroy by battle is really cool super resilient and he says once per turn during the battle phase if a face-up card is in a field zone you can quick effect destroy all monsters your opponent controls this being able to be activated at the, during battle on each opponents of your three opponents turns seems like it's pretty rough to deal with and i personally really like this card i think it's pretty pretty solid bio insect armor is going to give you that easy equip requirement for perfect great insect uh giant ant lion is going to be another one to make that really easy to get out perfect great insect the new insect tuner hex and ringe master fairy is really interesting it's super easy to summon you just need a plant or insect in any graveyard if you synchro a, a insect or plant you can treat itself as a non-tuner so meaning it could use you could use another tuner for a synchro summon and i imagine that's going to be going into the new circle of fairy card i do think this is this is pretty good in this hypothetical insect uh, slash plant domain deck list. Gives you an additional normal summon, helps you extend. And when one of your insect or plant monsters destroy a monster by battle, you get to deal a little bit of extra damage and gain some life, which honestly in domain format, life gains a, quite a bit better than, than you would think. Having a nice cushion of life is good when all your opponents are slowly whittling down. So I like that about this card. Uh, helps you extend, helps you cushion your life total. I like it quite a bit. Giant ball shoot is interesting. I honestly laughed out loud when I saw this art. I imagine this is supposed to help you get out perfectly great insect monster reborns a level six or lower uh, insect from your graveyard and then it lets you creature swap which is pretty crazy and the creature that you take is considered an insect i don't know this card's goofy and wild but i love it i think it could be used i think it can catch people by surprise really so that was most of the insect support i saw that i thought was pretty cool b troopers is a deck that i've wanted to build for a while so and uh so i think i'll give that a try when this new support comes out i'm really excited about it another archetype that's getting support that i'm incredibly excited for i'm sure this isn't the most exciting answer but the branded albaz archetype i am really excited about the two new fusions lindworm the gun hammer dragon takes a fallen of albaz or a tribrigade type monster this gives the the archetype something that i think is pretty cool it gives it a, a negate finally i'm not sure it needs it but that kind of seems to be the the bar for what's considered a good boss monster right has a built in negate when they activate an extra deck monster you can negate that effect and return one monster on the field to the, back to the hand i particularly like this effect because it doesn't have to target uh what was negated which is pretty huge because you can negate something and then bounce something with an ignition effect that hasn't been activated yet or if it's you know like you negate a link one or two monster but you want to bounce a dragoon back to it's you know to, to the extra deck which you can because this is non-targeting which is uh the bounce is non-targeting which is amazing and then it has a graveyard effect which can activate if it's sent um you know with the plethora of, you know mirror jade you can target a fallen albaz in your graveyard if both this and that card are in your graveyard special summon either that monster or this card and if you do banish the other so you can't special lindworm if it hadn't been probably summoned yet but having a, a quick effect uh revive a fallen of Albaz to do a fusion uh seems pretty sweet not gonna lie i like it
like it a lot. The fact that it takes a Tri Brigade monster to fusion summon into is interesting because I'm thinking of my domain deck. The only two candidate, the only two possible things I could use would be Tri Brigade uh, Mercurier, which I'm happy to use as material because it has an effect in the graveyard. If it's banished, you can search for a monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz. If I already had Mercurier in my hand, you could use Springin's Kit, which doesn't have a graveyard effect, but honestly, she's just there to, to help search for Brain Infusion. <laughs> I'm excited about that guy. I'm even more excited about Grand Guignol, the Finale Dragon. This isn't a branded card, but I'm still excited about it. I, I could play this in my in my domain deck. I'm definitely going to. It takes Blazing Cartes the Virtuous and a Light or Dark Monster. So really simple, really easy materials. And the main reason why I'm excited about this is because because it mentions Blazing Cartesia the Virtuous specifically as material, I can search out Blazing Cartesia with something like Fusion Deployment or Fusion Conscription. So for that alone, I'm really excited. Blazing Cartesia helps you hold up interaction on your opponent's turn. So I'm very excited for a way to just um, tutor her out. But this card says when it's Fusion Summon, you can send a level six or higher light or dark monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. So this facilitates, you know, bestial plays, you can send Fallen of Albaz extra deck monsters to the graveyard uh, for their Fallen of Albaz effects. You can send Grand uh, Lindworm to the graveyard. And then it says, if a monster is special summon by an opponent's monster effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard, special summon a Dogmatica monster from your deck or a Despia monster from your extra deck. Now this card's cool because I imagine that I'll be banishing it most of the time when I have like Brain of Regained out in play. I would get her effect, get a Dogmatica monster or a Despia monster from the extra deck, and then put this on the bottom of my deck uh, to put this back into the extra deck with Brain of Regained. And uh, I love that type of stuff in domain being able to recycle your cards and get more activations real good for a long game i definitely approve got a couple of new branded uh cards branded inevitable continuous trap once per turn when your opponent activates a card effect that targets a bestial monster you control or when your opponent activates a card in response to your bestial monster's effects you can target a lighter dark monster in your graveyard banish it if you do negate that effect Again, I love this card because there's so many cards that get can get effects off of being banished, Mercurier, Despian Tragedy. Again, with Branded Regained, you can put them back into the deck, draw some extra cards. I love this. This is I think this card's awesome. Uh, there's also going to be a new Bestial card, Bestial Baldrick, which I think is great. Again, some more negation stuff. This one, I'm not so sure. We'll see a lot of play. Branded Light. Target Fusion Monster on the field or in the graveyard. Return to the extra deck, and then you can special summon a Fallen of Albaz from your graveyard and one monster from your opponent's graveyard to their respective owner's fields. Uh, being a quick play, I guess, let's, lets you do Fallen of Albaz fusions at instant speed. But to be quite honest, playing my, my Fallen of Albaz domain deck, I quite honestly hardly ever actually play Fallen of Albaz for his fusion. I always send him to the grave with Brain Infusion and then shuffle him back into the deck, try and get Brain Infusion back to use again to just send the materials from my deck. So I don't know how often this would see play. I, I don't think it makes the cut, to be honest. All right, that's it for the branded stuff. Now, what I'm most excited about, the archetype that I'm most excited about getting support is Chaos. Chaos Archfiend is a crazy good boss monster for domain format. Takes a light tuner, which <laughs> Ecclesia and Cartesia are. Gains 2,000 attack the turn a card is banished. Up to 4,500 that's freaking huge the awesome part about this though is it can attack all all your opponent's monsters once each and anything it destroys by battle is banished this is such a this is awesome late game and i mean honestly after the first rotation everybody's gonna have stuff in play you're gonna be able to wipe out everybody's field at once do a ton of damage banish the stuff you're killing if they don't stop you that is and if they do if this leaves your field by an opponent's card you can special summon a chaos synchro monster from your extra deck uh i think this is supposed to be indirect support for chaos goddess which is a really old chaos synchro monster which has a really hard um synchro materials to make or you can go into chaos beast gets a slightly smaller buff when a card is banished up to 3000 but yeah, it's 3000 still though but the reason i love chaos beast is because it's going to allow you to recycle your banished light and dark monsters i love that and it's able to bring itself back from the graveyard to to do again and to do more i personally love this card and uh i'm really excited to play with this these two boss monsters i think work really well i can't wait to play with them and make a chaos uh domain deck some of the support chaos mirage dragon this again lets you target banished light or dark monsters and special summon them to your field but negate their effects. Locks you into lighter dark synchro monsters. But it's a level four tuner and grabs the material that it's gonna need to go into your chaos stuff. You grab a level four lighter dark monster, go into chaos ruler, go into the chaos archfiend. And it's removal when you use it as synchro material. I, I love this card. This card's great. Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, there's also Core of Chaos and Shell of Chaos. They're both easy to summon. You just discard card. I'm thinking about trying these out in the in the Chaos domain deck that I'm going to be building, but I'm not so sure how consistent it'll be since I can't run play sets and they, they only grab each other out of Banish when they're special summoned. Chaos Witch. 
is another support from the set. The contributor for dark tokens, which can be used to make all these chaos monsters, synchros. And if banished, she makes two more tokens that are light. Don't know if she'll be necessary, but she is there. Chaos Phantasm is a trap that lets you basically synchro summon using banished monsters that you have and lets you return them to the graveyard, which I think is really cool. This goes into, you know, recycling materials for domain. And I think it's, I think it, I'll probably try it out when I build the deck. Those are the cards. And I'm mainly excited about Chaos Archfiend and Chaos Beast. Those are, those are cool. Okay. Those were the three archetypes that got really neat support that I wanted to mention. Now I want to go into the top four cards from the set that I think will be played in domain. The first one, not incredibly exciting, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought that this would get somebody tons of advantage. Choju the Trillion Hands. Level six, light fairy, 1400 attack, 1000 defense. If this card is summoned, doesn't have to be tribute summoned, doesn't have to be special summoned, just however you summon it, you can add a ritual monster and one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. Like I said, you have to tribute summon it for the most part. You would have to tribute summon it. So in that way, it is limited, but I imagine getting this thing off would just feel amazing. Getting it off in domain, especially having a 60 card singleton deck, you would just grab whatever ritual monster you needed, whatever ritual spell goes with it. You know, and then you can ritual summon using this. Uh, so I think this would be awesome for cybers. Sorry, not cybers. Uh, uh, Cyber angels, Drytron, stuff like that. Number three, not incredibly powerful, but I think really versatile for domain format. Threatening or Summonite. It is a trap. Target three monsters in your graveyard. Choose one of them. Then your opponent chooses one of these effects. You can special summon the selected monster or special summon as many of the other targets as possible. So you're gonna pick three monsters. You're gonna set one of them aside and your opponent's gonna have the choice of letting you summon that one monster or the other two monsters that were in the pile. So I play a lot of magic and this kind of reminds me of like a factor fiction type effect. In domain, I imagine no matter which one your opponent picks, they're not going to enjoy the results. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see how people use this card and i think it could be really good all right my number two i'm really excited about this card i cannot wait to get it i think it's going to be quite annoying for the opponent weight measuring it's a normal trap if your opponent controls at least two more monsters than you they must send monsters to the graveyard so they only control one you can time this really well when you think your opponent's trying to gather resources to like do a big link for or or whatever and activate it in response to a summoning them summoning their fourth monster which doesn't really do much and then they gotta send it all down to one or if they end on a crazy board you you know three extra deck monsters four extra deck monsters sending all of them but one to the graveyard is also going to be pretty backbreaking. this is really generic removal and i think it's really good so i imagine this is going to see a lot of play last card i'm most excited about and i think we'll definitely see play in a lot of domain decks or be considered at least triple tactic tasking it's a normal spell if your opponent activated a monster effect this turn you can set any normal spell or trap directly from your deck into play but if your opponent controls a monster you can add that card to your hand instead just generically tutoring any normal spell or trap in your 60 card singleton deck after getting hand trapped or whatever i think this is just amazing i cannot wait you can use this go get your dark ruler no more so that you can out their board this is going to be really good for trap decks i've been brainstorming a way to build like either trap tricks or the the new labyrinth archetype this is definitely going to see play in that along with weight measuring yeah incredibly generic searches for just about anything i think this card's great bonus points if you use this to go get triple tactic talent <laughs> but yeah i want to talk to you guys about those archetypes and cards just because i think they're really cool and exciting for for domain format again if you don't know what domain format is uh you can check out my how to play video or join the discords check out what we're all about or check out any of my other videos but i want to know what cards you guys are most excited about so please tell me down in the comments i would love to hear about it i know there's a lot more archetypes that are coming out in this set that are getting a lot of support so is there any support you're excited about when i was making this video i was thinking about doing amazing defenders first but that set's just not very good <laughs> not only that but all the archetypes within that set are so small right now they have no support i just don't think there's enough to make a domain deck centered around those archetypes just yet but yeah i just want to say thank you for watching this video i'll definitely do this again for the next set that comes out but until then I'll catch you later thanks for watching